Welcome to Messy Fun Sisters Podcast. I'm Lauren. <laughs> I'm Lauren. And this is episode five. five. Uh, Lauren forgot her name. Never, I don't remember what to do. It's been so long. <laughs> we were talking before the podcast started that Lauren was our first guest. Mm-hmm. And she was also on episode five of season one. Yes. And now she's on episode five of season three. I'm going to come back every other season. Make it's an appearance. Season five. Cheers. I didn't realize how much bigger my glass was than you. It's all right. Okay. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Mm-hmm. Also, we haven't had wine on this podcast in so long. I don't know why. Maybe because we do it earlier in the day. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like maybe we shouldn't drink wine at 10 a.m. <laughs> Lauren's <laughs> like, it's noon. I'm like, Here we go. No, all right. It's, it's 9 a.m. now. We can drink. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, I'm really happy about it. And obviously we're live on Instagram too. Hello, Marielle. Hello. What's up? Um, Alyssa is actually on her way back from a bachelorette party in South Padre, mm-hmm. Texas. Must be nice. Mm-hmm. So that's why Lauren is here. She's yes, filling in. Yes, Thank yes. you so much. Of course. I anytime. It. Just Yay. appear when you call me. <laughs> I'll I know. be late, but I'll be there. Yeah, I know. I was like, Lauren, can you, or I was texting Alex. I was like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> I need a co-host. because We just got done watching the very depressing football game. So. Oh, yeah. <sighs> so we needed to get out. So this works. I mean, what do you expect anyway with? The Cowboys. I'm not even a Cowboys <laughs> fan. I'm going to put that out there. I'll probably be shunned <laughs> from the family, but I'm not even. No. Go Chiefs. <laughs> the chi- who are the Chiefs? The Chiefs, they won the Super Bowl last year. Which ones are they? <laughs> They're red, white, and fact, yellow. Fact checker someone? Alec? The Chiefs? He can't hear us, which okay. is good. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't lying. Know. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, uh, we are so glad to have Lauren here for the second time. Yes, yes, and yes. Um, we are going to do some really fun things today for those who are listening on Instagram and on the podcast. Lauren is actually an esthetician mm. and she has been for how long? Um, I guess now about two years. Two years. Which is crazy. And we're going to review uh, my makeup, my, makeup, my um, skincare. skincare routine. Which there is a whole <laughs> load of products. It's ridiculous. There is, I'm a little nervous. There's literally so much stuff that I think I put too much on my face. Lauren is one of those that about once every couple of weeks, she'll text me and be like, hey, I heard of this new product. What yeah. do you think? And I'm like, didn't <laughs> you just buy something exactly like it? Like a day ago yes I did but I saw it on TikTok yes (laughs) and I have this problem and Alyssa always says I just get influenced and I do I mean they're they're influencers it's their job and I'm just like really terrified not terrified I just don't want wrinkles and don't yeah like I just get nervous I mean it's natural it happens to us all but yes you can do I know just drink your problems away it'll be okay (laughs) (laughs) I'll do that hang on yeah but I mean It just happens, and everybody wants to prevent it, but it's part of life, unfortunately. Can you not cough, Alec? (gasps) Golly. Anyway, Alec's in the background. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We gotta go. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I'm gonna prevent age as much as I can. And Trent's like, I can't wait to be 30. And I'm like, I'm 33. It's very sad. And this is why I don't drink on the podcast, because I'm already hot and sweaty. Yeah, it makes my body. (laughs) I don't know if it's the wine or if it's the nerves or maybe it's the bright light. I think it's the wine. (laughs) Okay, well, put an ice cube in it and call it a day. (laughs) I might, actually. Um, But before we get started, we'll say bye to Instagram. Bye. Bye, Instagram. And we're going to do our... Ooh. Review of the week. Oh, yeah, wow. Lauren wow. hasn't heard that. We moved up in the world. I know, pre-recorded. <laughs> okay, hang on one second. So our review of the week comes from our very own Renee Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Wait, and which one? The older. Okay. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, it's with our episode with Ave, and he said, there's a huge presence in this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Thanks, Aww. Dad. Thanks for... The Poor review. Abe. Guy can't catch a break, I even know. when he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was like, I know you guys mentioned me on every single podcast, so I w- didn't want to this episode, but whatever. I mean, you kind of just are. went all in with it. So. I know. My bad. 
Oh, well. It's okay. Thanks for the review, Dad. If you guys want to leave a review or we can say your review on our podcast, um, just go to YouTube or go to Instagram or uh, the podcast app. That's where we are. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> just, I'm like, really have like a fan for you. <laughs> legit sweaty. Well, because the fan will make noise. Oh, oh well. my gosh. Don't look on YouTube. Go to the podcast, just podcast. And, just, and just listen on to me. On all forms. <laughs> Go to your podcast app and just listen yeah. there. You don't need to see us. It's okay. <laughs> I don't need you to unless you want to see my gross sweaty mess. It's just a glistening glow. It's a very, I'm very dewy. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's actually the look I'm going for is dew. So I think it's I nailed achieved. it. Yes. I always have to pile on, pile on like mountains of powder in order to not be just... A I glistening l- bright light. I like I like the dewy look because I feel I feel like it makes me look younger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so having oily skin actually does help prevent wrinkles. Not mm-hmm. like forever, but for a little bit longer because it's kind of naturally hydrating your skin a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to just put it out there. I'm not perfect by any means. So if you're fact checking me, that's totally cool. Just please don't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> like The products and just like anything that I say. I'm yeah. so sorry if I ever offend anybody. No. But yeah, from my knowledge, having more oily based skin, it's naturally hydrating it. And so you're less likely to kind of wrinkle a bit. I mean, I'm a little, I'm a combination, mm-hmm. I'd say. I you get have like, sensitive skin, too. I do have really sensitive skin. Mm-hmm. And actually, when I went to the Aveda school the other day to get mm-hmm. my face done. She I, cheated on me. I do, Well, okay, we'll get into that here in a little <laughs> bit. But, like, I could feel a little burning on my cheeks. And mm-hmm. I didn't know if I should tell her. But I was like, it'll go away. It'll go away. It'll be fine. She'll put another mask on. It'll be no big deal. Mm-hmm. But it was a little burning. But You should definitely tell her. To anybody out there that gets facials or anything, just... Always tell them. Sometimes it's meant to burn. Well, not burn. Sometimes it's meant to react a certain way. Yeah. Um, but we can't know if it's hurting you if you don't tell us it's hurting you. I know. So tell them. I know. I should have. <laughs> I actually told her about my story about when I had that reaction to that sheet oh, mask. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can find that and send it to Trent. You just like um, lit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it, was, it was really bad. Okay. So uh, before <laughs> we get into everything, we have the next segment. Five, six, seven, eight. so cute yay okay i'm glad <laughs> it's, adorable. it's funny i made it one like afternoon and i was just laughing at myself because i was like this is hilarious i'm the best <laughs> i was just laughing all trent was taking a nap um all right so this week's news story comes from national geographic this is crazy okay so in alberta in canada they found what's called a frozen dragon so apparently this like dinosaur like thing was found um uh, in inside of like some sort of thing where they like let's see hang on a new study of blah 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 describes a new what is that pisasaur <laughs> called something I don't Froze, have my glasses. <laughs> frozen dragon of the north winds the flying reptile had a wingspan of at least 16 feet and may have grown to a wingspan up to 33 feet the size of its relative. Okay, can you scroll down just a little bit? Trent, I want to read the first paragraph. So it says the new frozen dra- dragon something sore <laughs> found <laughs> hiding in plain sight. Uh, in the icy bedlands of Alberta, paleontologists have found a, fro- a frozen <laughs> dragon, a new genus of... I'm so sorry. I think it's Tosaurus. Tosaurus. Ter- Pterosaurus. Pterosaurus. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Don't listen to me. That once soared over the heads of dinosaurs with a wingspan that stretched at least 16 feet, the flying reptile named something something <laughs> lived in what is now Western Canada about 76 million years ago do- during what is now known as the Cretaceous period. Let's go down just one more. I want to read, read one more paragraph. Sorry. The animal, when alive, would have not been a frozen dragon, note study co-author Mike Habib, a paleontologist at the University of Southern California. It would have it would have flying it <laughs> would have flying in a landscape that would have been reasonably temperate, but a hell of a lot warmer than central Alberta. Isn't that crazy though? They found a literally <laughs> frozen a dragon. 
Canada they, has the best things. I know. Frozen they, dragons. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. Like if I don't know if you're watching on YouTube, but like the way it looks, it's like the head of it looks like um tweezers and it has like this red thing above it mm-hmm. and it's like the wings are like i mean obviously we don't know what it really looked like this <laughs> is just like a in a illustration but it looks so freaking weird its head is huge compared to its like minor little body yeah <laughs> it's, it's so thing. weird but there's there was there's dragons in the bible there's dragons is there right trent fact check I feel like Trent knows more about Old Testament than I do. Uh, I don't know about the uh, dragons in the Bible. I've but never read anything about that. Wait, look it up real quick. Can you? I'm like 75% sure. I mean, there maybe there was something, some word in there that kind of hinted at the idea. This of could dragons. have been it. But that's a long, that's 70, 76 million years ago. Jeez. Are dragons in the Bible? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Not this time. Right there at the bottom, it says not. I hit, No, no, no. Up, uh, uh, down. Down, down. Left. left. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oi. I legit think that there, yeah. Surprisingly, the word dragon occurred 21 times in the Old Testament as a King James Version. Considering that the Bible was first translated into English before the word dinosaur was invented... <coughs> This was when scientists described large reptiles as dragons. Other terms in scriptures can relate to dragons, including serpents, beasts. In fact, dragons and serpents were often representations of the devil and demons that would confront people of God in conflict temptation and temptation. Mm-hmm. Learn more about dragons and elephants. That is crazy. Yeah, I kind of figured that if it was going to be in the Bible, it would probably have some sort of relation to, to like, like demons, demons and evil. And- scary evil things that breathe fire that's why i think it's so dumb there's this like um leader in the christian world Mm -hmm. i won't mention her name (laughs) but she's like anti game of thrones she's like game of thrones how dare you like watch this film i'm like lady have you read the old testament (sighs) literally exactly what you're seeing is what essentially i mean obviously the game of thrones is in the bible but like that sort of like like crap. those times yeah mm-hmm. was like b- crazy and like evil i and i was never a huge like game of thrones person i just never got into it but i i mean i just think that's ridiculous i just don't like when people do that with anything yeah <laughs> like, with game of thrones harry potter was a huge one growing up for me you know i was really sad the other day i don't know where we were driving but i was like I feel, I wish that I could relate to other millennials who mm-hmm. have loved Harry Potter, mm-hmm. grew up with the movies. I, love Harry Potter. I know. So and I much. wasn't, and maybe I was telling Trent, but like, because we weren't allowed to like watch it or mm-hmm. it was the devil or whatever. But y'all weren't allowed to watch it? Mm-mm. How did I not know that? I feel I like know. Alec probably said that and I just wasn't actually listening. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that like happens, that happens sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like Marriage. I was just like robbed of like, enjoying that you know because like i loved lord of the rings mm-hmm. and i liked chronicles of narnia and i read all those books and i just thought it was such like a imaginative world yeah. and i think that's why it was fun as a kid yeah and i mean and i i guess i get it like to why some families because i mean growing up in marion it's like there was a ton of families that were totally against watching harry potter and letting their kids watch harry potter or read the books um but yeah i mean tim and i my brother tim and i we just kind of like fell in love with it and we yeah it's just a different world to kind of escape to i guess which sounds so nerdy but but that's what it was that's what they're <laughs> meant for yeah. you know what i mean it's literally like fiction and mm-hmm. yes there's like witches or whatever mm-hmm. but that's not what wi- real witches are like they yeah. don't like have wands and i mean i don't know maybe they do <laughs> <laughs> i was like do you know a witch? <laughs> I, I don't know any witches hey if you're a witch comment below <laughs> if harry potter is Shout similar out. to your religion yeah <laughs> a whole different time i know wow Anyways, but yeah. dragons are in the bible yeah 21 times <laughs> <laughs> yeah and if you go to that website i don't know what it was we can i'll maybe i'll just find it and i will cite the sources for you but um before we get into that i want to talk about our sponsors <laughs> um our sponsor for this week is shop quattro <sighs> Shop so Quattro. I know. They have like really the cutest stuff. I've been seeing them all over Instagram and everybody's wearing their shirts and it's just so You cute. should get one. They're like really the cutest. I've been trying not to shop, but it's 
it's a necessity <laughs> i mean i know it's actually really bad for me oops hang on let me get on the website but um they actually have really cute uh, new shirts that came out i was wearing one last week it says um what does it say oh my god who cares speak up mm. and the, it, that one's called the drain diami and then uh the other one is called it's a purple shirt and it says say less and it's just like, man, that's, that's just so like cute. so cute. I know the shirts I love are needed it. right now. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, Shop Quattro is a trendy T-shirt boutique located here in San Antonio, Texas. If you go to Shop Quattro LLC, that's S H O P C U A R T O L L C dot com, uh, <laughs> you can use the code Messy Bun Twenty for fifteen percent off. Of your purchase. So, Lauren, you can use that, too. <laughs> I'm going on right now. <laughs> I know. And you can get one of these cute shirts. So um, cute. Thank you, Shop Quattro, for sponsoring this podcast. Yay. We appreciate it. But let's get into everything. Okay. Oh, no. <sighs> As we mentioned before, um, I am terrified of aging. <laughs> 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 I really want to find this photo. I don't know if Trent, it, if I find this photo on my phone, Trent, can you pull it up? Um, if I send it to you, (laughs) okay, I'll have to like really look for it. Um, I feel like you told me you were scared about aging before I was even an esthetician or even thought about becoming one. It was just constantly It's just, I mean, I'm not, maybe I shouldn't say that. I just don't want to get like wrinkles Mm -hmm. or like a lot of aging spots. Yeah. I guess I just want to take care of my skin and I feel like I, that's good. Yeah. I feel like I've like wanted to be like that for a while, but Mm -hmm. I like never really got into it until like recently. (laughs) The hard thing about skincare is that, I mean, it is expensive and that's the hard thing about it, especially like for me, I really struggle with it because I am all about cheap and drugstore and finding the easy way around things. Like I would rather like right now I'm making a rug because I don't want to spend money on a a rug. rug. I'm making a rug. Uh, with jute cord and hot glue and old yoga mats. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to tell me how do you do that. That's so cool. Did yeah. you learn it on TikTok? No. On really? Pinterest. Okay. On Pinterest, my original obsession. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean. While it, I look for this photo, tell us about like your journey of being an esthetician. Oh, man. So I have had awful skin like my entire life. Like just awful cystic acne. Just from the age of puberty to now. Um, and it was really hard to kind of figure out what was going on and like how to fix it. And I went to a million different dermatologists and they, I was on Accutane for a while and that just really jacked everything up. Um, and so once I became an adult, I just, if anything, I was like, okay, well, I kind of want to go to school because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was like, well, Does anything, anybody. I know. I was like, let me go to aesthetic school and if I get anything from it, at least maybe I'll figure out what's going on with my skin. Um, I remember just to butt in real quick. Sorry. Mm-hmm, I no, remember you were saying that you had one of your teachers like get something down that has like been in there for a really long oh time. Oh, my gosh. I was always the model for extractions. That's always crazy. like extractions are my favorite thing in the world. And I understand why I was always the model. My skin was the worst in my class. But man, that was the worst day ever. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt so bad. But yeah, like there's just there's things that lie under your skin for just years and years and years and you don't realize it and yeah I was the model one day and I showed up I think we had like dinner or something and I just had like a big old like band-aid on my cheek and they're like what happened to you I was like aesthetic school happened to me <laughs> <laughs> they beat me up but yeah so but they got the crap out of your they got it out that's crazy I mean some of it but yeah they they went to town uh, but yeah so I graduated and I started working for Aveda who I adore Aveda and I was there for about a year and then I moved on to another place and then COVID happened yeah. and I was for a load for three, four months. I feel like four months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I'm currently still not doing it. I just, I feel like if you are an esthetician working during COVID, I mean, props to you. I know it's tough and I really tried and I just, I struggled. So I'm taking a break right now, but it has been crazy and I, d- I do love it so much. I love skin and I, you're like, good at it too. Thank you. Like I, I just, feel comfortable with you. I like helping people because I know how I know how much like a simple breakout can make you feel so insecure yeah. and just like down. And it's like, ugh, like yeah, I have makeup covering it, but you still know it's there. 
And so I it's feel nice like to it's kind e- of help. <laughs> I feel like it's even harder now when people are wearing masks. Oh my gosh, the mask, yeah. mask me. Ew. <laughs> yeah, because it is. I mean, it's all along like your jawline and right where like the mask lays because it's trapping in all that moisture. And it's, I'm so sorry to people that hate that word. I'll probably use it a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just trapping all that in. And normally whenever you're breathing, it could just like go outwards into the world. But now it's all just staying there and it's just trapped and yeah um, do you have any tips and tricks on how to like prevent that or is it just kind of your sol i mean i think the best way that i have prevented breaking out because i am such i'm a person that is so prone to those breakouts i can only imagine how it is for everybody else in the world um i've just been putting on my makeup like for work if i even am wearing makeup i just put it like started at my like cheekbones and then go upward like i don't even try to wear makeup underneath the mask but if you are someone that you like to wear it underneath, I would just make sure that at the end of the night you have a really good cleanser. Um, exfoliate more, like probably like twice a week, probably no more than twice a week, depending on your exfoliant. Yeah. Because um, you can overdo it and really hurt your skin. Mm. But yeah, other than that, you just got to. Don't wear makeup under your mask. <laughs> yeah, just try not to wear makeup <laughs> under your mask. It's it's just not fun. And it feels gross anyways. Yeah, <laughs> like I, don't, I don't like to wear makeup under my mask. Like I have a couple of times. Like, I'll wear it for church because when I'm on stage, I do take off the mask. Yeah. And I don't want to just have, like, Same. a fine line of, like, okay, well, here's where I'm clearly wearing makeup. Yeah. And now I look ridiculous. For but. church, I'll wear, because you have to wear mask at church, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll just get one of those disposable masks yeah. and I'll wear that because... You get lipstick all over it and like, yeah, it gets really gross and nasty. So like all the cloth masks I'll wear, like Mm -hmm. if I'm going to HB or something. I don't know about you, but I've gotten like way more comfortable like going out and not wearing makeup. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I used to be so insecure and I'm like, I don't care anymore. I'm surprised I even put it on today. Yeah, me too. "Mm, (laughs) Is it really worth it? (laughs) Yeah, I like almost was like not, but I was and then I get like sad because i'm like man i really like to put on makeup and it's fun but Mm -hmm. i mean that's why i did it today too i spent probably a good solid like two two out of the three months that i was out of work i would just like sit in my bathroom and just play with my makeup because like up until lauren and Alyssa, i knew nothing about makeup and how to do it and like i tried looking at pinterest and youtube and i look back at our first um christmas picture like the first one that i was with y'all like in the family yeah and I look at my makeup and my hair and I'm like, oh, God. Wait, was I even in that one? I feel like we, yeah. were, we weren't there. You were there. We were? Okay. Yeah, it was whenever we had like the fur vest. It was 2016. 2016. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. <laughs> I know. Forever ago. Otra vest mm-hmm. is the, yeah. Yeah. So oh, I look okay, back yeah, and I'm I just like, oh, my now. gosh. Yeah. I'm like, God bless those two. <laughs> I was like, they've helped me so much. Did I knock something over? Oh, my God. I thought I did. Oh, oh I'm gosh. scared because there's so much glass over here. Sorry. Oh, goodness. Did I? No. Okay, sorry. Go but ahead. you're good. No, I was just saying like, I mean, yeah, so I just spent like two months playing with makeup and it is fun. It's so fun. I wish I was one of those artistic girls that were like super Me bomb with their too. eyeshadows. It's insane. My eyes don't like, I have hooded, I have like slightly hooded. So mm-hmm. like whenever. It just creases. Yeah, it creases and like any like artsy stuff I, I do like goes away. <laughs> yeah. I can't even do eyeliner because whenever I smile, my whole like thick. Fi- Ooh, excuse me, my whole like face smiles. Yeah. And so the eyeliner gets all smudged and gross. And Same. Alec and I in pictures are ridiculous because both of our eyes you just have no disappear. Eyes. <laughs> so people are like, who are y'all? When y'all have kids, have you seen that John Mulaney bit where he's like, to Papa, I met a boy with no eyes. Have you <laughs> no. seen that? No. <laughs> you have to look it up like John Mulaney when oh, he was growing no. up, like he also had a no eye smile mm-hmm. and someone like a little kid in kindergarten was like, Papa, today I met a boy with no eyes. And it was John <laughs> Mulaney because he had no eyes. <laughs> Y'all's kids are going to have no eyes. Our <laughs> poor children, they're going to look either really cute or just really odd because they're gonna have just they're gonna no be eyes little round faces with just crazy curly afros they're like, gonna have so much curly so hair so much hair i know alec was cute when he was and you were cute too uh, alec was really cute he was alec really, was really cute. cute i was uh, what happened to alec little farm child <laughs> a farm <laughs> <laughs> the only way i can think to explain it just with a little curly afro it was yeah just I'm not gonna have no. All right, so uh, let, let's let's do. Hey, yeah. I actually just realized I forgot something in the bathroom. Oh no! Don't so, leave me. Hang on one second. Tell oh. us a little bit about your um, esthetician journey. You like didn't finish that. Yeah, I did. You did. I did. Okay. Well, talk about where you are now. Oh gosh. Okay. So, oh, the stress whenever Lauren's presence leaves. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Uh, yeah. So I 
after COVID kind of calmed down a little bit, I actually started working at Massage Heights as a receptionist. They do have the opportunity to go back into skincare. Um, right now, we're just kind of waiting, or I guess I'm just kind of waiting for, I don't want to say the world to go back to normal, but just to kind of calm down a little bit more yeah. before I figure out my next my next move. And, <laughs> and they're willing to like let you do that. Right? Oh, yeah. They're yeah. amazing. Literally, I've had... I mean, these bosses, they're like, I, I started working here as kind of just like, a oh, crap, I need a job. Yeah. Like, and they were the first place to call me back. And I mean, I just, I love it. My bosses are so amazing. And Do you get a discount on massages? I get some free massages. <gasps> oh, my God. I don't know God. if I'm allowed to say that. But <laughs> it's just like if something cancels last minute and we have enough coverage, they're just like, hey. You want a massage? You want to get on the table? I'm like, oh, uh, yes. Yes, please. So, yeah, oh it's, God, it's really so nice. nice. It's really, really nice. And, yeah, they've been really great. About just saying, like, whenever I'm ready, just, you know, they'll get me trained. They use Dermalogica, which is a wonderful skincare line. Uh, just good for, they have every, like, something for every skin type. Uh, I personally have used them for acne, and it just, like, clears everything up. Yeah, but so I have sensitive skin. Mm-hmm. I'm sure dermatology, dermatology, Dermalogica. Dermalogica has <coughs> sensitive. Trent, can you pull up that picture of my skin? This is how sensitive, can you or no? Maybe. Yeah, it's up. Okay, so um, this is how my skin looks like. Lauren, I'm sure oh, you remember. Gosh, I remember. <laughs> it was. I remember you sending me that and me <laughs> immediately just thinking, what did you do? <laughs> and like, Lauren always tells me, you have to patch test before. You have to patch things. test and you have to just like, <sighs> you have to really look into what you're putting on. I mean, if, but yeah, if you want to stick with like the drugstore cheaper or just like, you want to be like Lauren and just have like a cocktail of products. That's totally fine. What I have. Just like I always say patch test either behind your ear or on your wrist or just somewhere that if it does break out and get incredibly red and puffy, not <laughs> pretty like hers did, oh uh, it's going to happen somewhere that, you know, you don't like someone's not going to come up to you and be like, oh, my God. Yeah. What happened to her? Like, yeah. who did this? <laughs> it was really bad. But yeah. and you uh, said it really hurt, too, didn't it? It did. Yeah, yeah. it was hot. My skin was feeling really hot. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But do you um, remember what it was? Oh, it I guess was um, a yes to yes. I think is what from mm-hmm. a, from Target. Oh. But it was a grapefruit mm-hmm. sheet. Oh, I remember. It was and that's a, the thing. <laughs> grapefruit sheet mask. Grapefruit is it can be really great, but it's such an aesthetic thing. Yeah, it's such an aesthetic fruit that it can really, really jack with you. So that's a big one. Anything with any type of like citrus, whether it's orange grapefruit whatever other citruses are in the world uh just be careful with them because yeah. that can happen <laughs> and I, I do have a citrus thing and we'll go over it too mm-hmm. but it like it i did patch that. I, ever since that photo i have patch test everything yeah. <laughs> that i've done and unfortunately that's usually how it works with yeah. people they they're just like oh i don't need to do that and then something bad happens and you're like oh gosh oh, no. well i had never really known mm-hmm. that i should do that until like this that? <laughs> All right, so let's kind of go through everything on what I do, and you can tell me if I'm bad or good. So if I wear makeup, Mm -hmm. I will use this Neutrogena Cleansing Towel Mm -hmm. Makeup Remover, which I'm sure a lot of people use. Yeah. Do you use that? I I used to use it. Um, I'm just honestly, I'm really bad about having a makeup remover. I feel like everybody probably should. I'm definitely one of those do as I say, not as I do. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I preach all day long about the good things to do with your skin and I follow probably about like 80%, but that's better than nothing. <laughs> I know, but these makeup removers, I do like them. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is the one there is one of them by Neutrogena cause there's this one and then there's another, it's like a white one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember which of the two, one of them is really oily and it kind of leaves like a weird residue behind. Mm. Um, I personally didn't love that whenever I used it, but a big thing with these type of cleansing toilets is, I feel like a lot of people will use that and be like, okay, my skin is clean and I'll go on and put like my moisturizer. You still need to use a cleanser. Yeah. Because what this is just getting off that front layer of anything that's there. If you want something kind of, that's actually going to clean out your pores, you're going to need something more than this. But this is, this is a good one. I do like this one. I didn't know that for a long time. That you had to use both? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That you have to Because I was like, oh, I'm done. My makeup stuff. My makeup's yeah. gone. And I, yeah. think that's a, I think that's a thing that a lot of people do, especially because like this one's a great example. I mean, it says makeup remover, cleansing toilets. Yeah. It's cleansing the makeup, but not your skin. Right. 
So okay, so, yeah. so, so this one's okay. This one's yeah, okay. Just okay, as long good. as you're using something else with it, we're okay. Okay, we're so next, which here. is what I went for the restroom for, is <laughs> this is why I got influenced. Yeah, I use the CeraVe mm-hmm. hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. I personally have not used this brand yet, and I want to. Yeah. So bad i have heard nothing but amazing things about this brand that's like this one yeah it has a hyaluronic acid which is going to be really hydrating for you i just like i'm really excited i see that you have a lot of this brand over there and i'm just like (laughs) i kind of just want to see it for myself (laughs) so i um i got it it, it, it yeah yeah it's because of tiktok like honestly I i forget his name is there's skincare by Hiram? Yes, yeah, <laughs> that guy is just like changing the world. He Ooh, this is. is nice. Yeah, it feels good. I like it. I feel like this is really good because it's not sudsy. Yeah. So I feel like that's good for your skin because it is so sensitive. Um, I personally, or it's not, yeah, I like things that are really sudsy because yeah. of acne. I just like to feel things working, but this is nice. I feel like right. I just put on a moisturizer and it's a cleanser and that's so. a drugstore one too mm-hmm. yeah, yeah these are these are fr- like really really reasonably reasonably priced because i think this is what like 12 dollars. yeah maybe yeah. maybe yeah i i've i bought oh, trent one say too. that i've worked with cleansers that are like 80 dollars <laughs> yeah <laughs> they work they're amazing yeah they're so aveda expensive. ones are really good mm-hmm. i like them a lot i love aveda and i do see that you have some other stuff over there so i'll talk in it I a have little two. bit more um, in a bit, but I love Aveda. I stand by them. I think they're a wonderful company. Um, just with their skincare, it personally wasn't strong enough for me, which is the only reason that I decided I wanted to change companies. Yeah. Just because, yeah, I wanted to work with something that I felt like I could work on really echneic clients. And that stuff is great for everybody else, but I just need something a little bit stronger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but uh, more chemical, you know? Yeah. And I, and it was cool too, because going, I went to the Aveda Institute and it really was great. Um, but since then I've been able to work with brands and lines that were like, I could work with chemical peels and hydrofacials and, right. um, and I, and Michael Dermabrasion, and like stuff that you don't necessarily get with Aveda, mm-hmm. uh, cause it is so natural and it's so gentle. And so it's, it has been kind of fun to try both ends of, ends of the spectrum of like this isn't super natural and super relaxing and this one's like okay your skin might peel for like a week but it's gonna look really yeah. good after <laughs> <laughs> done that's both. so nasty i know i love it though <laughs> okay so next this is what mm-hmm. i do okay so i will um do this and this is a new bottle that i just bought mm-hmm. i'll do garnier molecular uh cleansing water mm-hmm. and i'll just like rub it over really quick i don't know why i use that because i have this too but i just i guess i don't know i i feel like it gets a lot of dirt off yeah and that's really what these are for these mc, i can't even say it mc, mc, my cellar mecular my, mecular, <laughs> mecular i said it <laughs> i don't know i obviously i don't use one yeah uh, i have one i have one by arbon and every time i use it on my skin it kind of leaves like it makes it kind of tingle a little bit and i still really I, I just can't make up my mind if it's like a good tingle or a bad tingle you I should try like that I just, I feel like the one that I have used, and it could just be that line. Mm -hmm. I feel like it doesn't actually like do much other than like, I feel like the cleansing water isn't much different than the cleansing towelettes. You know, I feel like it's just like another type of like, okay, this is going to get your makeup off and then still going with the cleanser. You know, you should try it. Yeah. Because it doesn't, I mean, for me personally, it doesn't give any like, um, I'm just going to put everything. Should I get, (laughs) um, what's it called? Uh, um, cotton balls. Okay. Trent, do you want to get some cotton balls for us? <laughs> some cotton balls? It's Can I nice. Get some cotton balls? Yeah. It is nice. I like this one. It doesn't leave like an oily residue. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. What was on my hands that it's getting off? That's a good sign, yeah. I guess. Oh, it was lotion. I oh. promise I'm not, I'm not gross. It was just lotion. <laughs> yeah, that's like, nice. Oh, Trent is getting some cotton balls. <laughs> Thanks, Trent. Yeah, I don't have to really just pour nice. everything on me. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I like it. I think yeah. I think it does the job. Really, I mean, that, uh, Thanks, from Trent. what I see visually. Mm-hmm um yeah so i personally i don't i don't feel like i can make i can say too much about this one I, I mean i've heard of a million people and their mothers using this yeah um yeah i just i personally haven't had too much i just i don't feel like it's much different than cleansing towels yeah cool all yeah. right so next so this is weird okay i got this red one which mm-hmm. is called Tyrion. this is toner i got two toners here mm-hmm. that i use i'll go back and forth 
So this one's Cheery Memory. I got it in my Fab Fit Fun Box. Mm-hmm. I'll go between that one mm-hmm. and this Mario Bascu Witch Hazel and Lavender Toner. I'll go between these two. I'm smelling it. I'm a big smells person. Yeah. I just, <laughs> if it smells good, I like it. Yeah. Um, that, this one, I think this one smells good. Let me smell it. I've never heard of this ter- ter- me, me, me ter- neither. whatever it is. I've never heard of this line before, and it has literally no, like, no info on Uh-oh. it whatsoever. <laughs> it's literally just like a bottle that just says aloe and tea tree toner, anti-aging. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I, I got it in my FabFitFun box. And yeah. I was like, oh, it's a toner, and it's I'm pretty? almost out of this. Yeah, it's pretty, so. So this is the line. So before we start, Rachel <laughs> Born, I was like, there's a line I see here a lot that I actually really really don't like it oh no it's this mario Bas- bad bad yeah i have Bas-Q, a couple whatever it is um i yeah. just <gasps> i have four of his things. you have a lot I, okay the drying <laughs> lotion mwah, perfection yeah. it's great yeah just the ones like the toners and then uh the cleansers i know that they're like they're super popular at, like ulta and mm-hmm. i don't think sephora has it's it. because I mean, of kylie jenner it's just it's one of those to where I feel like you're just spending money on it for the name, not necessarily because it's actually doing anything. Right. Um, I've also, not me personally, but I've had a lot of clients that have used it and, and it's caused like really bad, like chemical burns <gasps> just because it wasn't mixed correctly. Oh no. Um, and like I said, once again, I'm not perfect by <laughs> any means. Um, yeah, this is just a brand that with the toners and with the cleansers, I would suggest staying away because then also with the toners, I've heard and I've seen a lot of it actually drying out the skin rather than oh. toning the skin because sometimes... Yeah, what is the difference between drying and toning? What is toner so, anyway? <laughs> okay, so toner is... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> so toner is meant to do exactly that, to like okay. tone your skin because okay. like me personally, I have a very red tone. Mm-hmm. And so like that's why the only reason I will still wear makeup if I'm like going to the grocery store or something. I don't even wear makeup. I usually just wear like a BB cream or something. It's just because my like my face to like is so red, so incredibly red. And it's because of all the acne scars and stuff like that. And just like um, the products that I have to use on it to keep my acne calm. Mm -hmm. um, It does cause my skin to be a little bit on the red side. And so toner is meant to help with that. It's meant to literally cool down your skin or oh. some of it has a uh, astringent in it okay astringents are the ones where if you use a toner and it kind of tingles a little bit yeah astringents are um supposed to help kill the bacteria that's oh. happening in your pores it's uh-huh. just supposed to help like clear out like little you know, whiteheads blackheads stuff like that it doesn't yeah. necessarily get rid of it but it's another like preventative i see um I feel like I get tingles with this one and not really. And it could be the one. tea tree that's in this one. This oh, Terry, yeah. Terry Mary, whatever it's called. <laughs> that's what Probably, I'm call it. yeah. Terry Mary. Um, tea tree. I don't know. I, I guess there are some good agents with, with that, tea tree. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've experienced that tea tree can kind of make your skin burn a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, sorry, Mario. I'm going to just pass on that one. <laughs> you away. No. You're going just in the trash. Just my personal preference. I yeah. would suggest not getting out of that one but well because i go back and forth with those two mm-hmm. like some, some nights i'll use the mario or whatever and sometimes <laughs> i'll use the terry mary or whatever and yeah again, I, i'm just I, gonna call it terry mary i think it's cute again i also <laughs> did patch test all of these um so before proud. i started oh, thank I'm you so oh proud. i don't want to get that face again <laughs> um but just to clarify this is my nighttime routine and then i'll tell you my daytime okay routine. okay so at, and then after that what do i normally do oh i forgot about this <gasps> Oh, Lauren actually gave buddy. me this. I love these guys. Yeah, Lauren gave me that. That's Aveda too. So this is an Aveda dry brush. It is the cutest, most amazing it thing in cute. the world. Tell um, people when to use that. Because so, I feel like people, I didn't know when to use it. So this one, honestly, you you could use this every night if you wanted to. Yeah. It's not like a super hard bristles or anything like that. I hope it's okay that I'm just like writing my Yeah, no, it's okay. Okay. Um, this is COVID. How dare you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I cleaned my hands. Goose. I know. She's mad. Crazy. Um, but yeah, so what this one is doing, it's helping to gather up any sort of dry, dead skin cells that is happening on your face. Um, when I was at my old salon, I won't drop any names, uh, <laughs> I, was, I was front desk for a really long time. And one of the things that we had to do was like go around and like do product knowledge and show people how things work. And so this one, we would always go up and just like show it on the back of their hands. And just after like rubbing it on the back of the hand for like 
I don't like 30 seconds or something. Don't be so hard. Come here. Oh, sorry. Come yeah. Here. You Come show here. me Let how to. <laughs> you just kind of like rub it around a little bit. <laughs> I'm like. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I know. She's just going to town. Yeah. But you just got to like let the bristles do the work for you. And it just kind of helps to gather all the dead skin cells and stuff. Just kind of building up. You're going to do this after you cleanse. Because if you do it before, you're going to get all, all sorts of like makeup, makeup and dirt and yeah. disgustingness. So I would always, uh, I would cleanse the skin. I would tone it. And then I would use this guy. And then oh, I would so go that's in perfect right here. Yeah. And then I would go in with like an actual like exfoliant something that has like the little beads in it um, just to kind of help. You know, I have an exfoliant. That's Mario bath scout in the bathroom, <laughs> <laughs> in the in the shower. Okay. I'll use that in there. I'm sorry. It's OK. It's okay. <laughs> I have I will say my favorite exfoliant I've ever yeah, used. What is it? It's by this brand called Vivier. That is who I uh, I worked with Vivier and Circadia for the last year. And their products are so good and they smell are so they good expensive? and they work so nice. They're a little pricey. Vivier, the Vivier's uh, like vitamin C's are real pricey, um, but all good vitamin C's normally are because ascorbic acid is a really expensive acid to get. Um, but I forgot where I was going. Oh, but Vivier, they have a vitamin C scrub that smells amazing and it works so well. You'd never want to use it more than twice a week because it is a little harsh. Yeah. Um, but like it, I, I use it on every single client I had and everyone was like, falling in love with it one just because of how it smelled yeah i, mm -hmm. I remember i used it yeah. and you were like oh my gosh this is I know. amazing and then you told me how much it was and i was like oh man that one wasn't <laughs> bad that one wasn't bad you asked me about the vitamin c and i think it was like 170 oh, to yeah. like 200 so that one was a little like Ooh. i have a dupe guys i'll show you i'll we'll go okay. over that one <laughs> okay um so nighttime okay then i will usually do <laughs> okay these are the three that i'll do mm -hmm. i'll do like three serums at night actually <laughs> oh my gosh um i'll occasionally do this one mm -hmm. but i'll for sure do i always so this is great like, what is that this is grape seed oil so i oh, remember i told I remember you, you about it yeah. yeah so i'll use it i use it every night and every morning mm -hmm. um it's supposed to help with like fine lines and stuff so mm -hmm. i i use that yeah and i don't know if it has a smell really. does it yeah I thought it would because I don't know. I grape guess seeds. Grape. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to smell like yeah, grapes. Yeah, no, it doesn't have. But you can put like a, yeah. a little bit on. I just like, I feel, listen, it could be the placebo effect, but I just yeah. like the way it's okay. I I yeah, mean, goodness. you can put it all over your body. You can, yeah. right? Like all over. Like, I know. I use it every morning and every night. I will I'll say one thing with serum. Lauren is that she always keeps me on my toes because <laughs> she'll be like, She'll text me, have you heard of this? <laughs> She's like, hey, have you heard of grapeseed oil? I'm like, uh, no. She's I like, heard it on TikTok. I heard it on TikTok that are on Pinterest or on Facebook on an ad. Or, yeah, or a <laughs> podcast or something that <laughs> someone who has really great skin that talked someone, about. Yes, yeah, so this person has beautiful skin and it has to be the grapeseed oil. Actually, and I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whitney Cummings is the one. Okay, so this one and the next one, I'll tell you. <coughs> Whitney Cummings talked about, you know who she is? She's no. a comedian. No. I don't know, Trent, if you can pull her picture I am up. not hip with the times. I mean, she she's really funny. I mm -hmm. like her. I'll like listen to her podcast, but mm -hmm. she has always had like really awesome skin. Mm -hmm. It looks like she has had work done and she just never has. She just has like really amazing skin. I don't oh, know if you I can. have seen her. Yeah, yeah look how yeah, great yeah. her skin. She's thirty eight. She's real pretty. She's real. And it looks like she has had work done. She's never the only thing. Man, she's she had makes done. those thin brows look good. I know. Ugh, the only work she's ever had is like a boob job, and that's mm -hmm. the, and she'll talk about it. But she like went through her skincare, and she talked about grapeseed oil, like putting it all over her body, mm -hmm. and then she talked about this skin eternal serum. Mm -hmm. I think I. I remember you showing me yeah. this one. I remember you pulling it up and being like, I heard of it. It was sold out like literally the next day yeah, after she talked I about it. Yeah, I remember that. And <laughs> I, I remember like, it like took you a while to get it. I don't yeah. know why I'm like opening up the yeah. whole thing. I'm just, watch my hand. It's just going to like <laughs> just feel flare really up. really beautiful. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that's a wonderful hand. But these two I do every morning and mm -hmm. every night. I was not expecting this. I think that smells good too. The skin eternal to be the way it was. I thought it was going to be more of an oil and it has a little bit more consistency to it than no, that that's one too. um this smells really good right yeah I so, and i'm like that's the thing that's tricky with skincare is that there's a million products in the world and there's a million different ingredients like yeah like grapeseed oil that could be the greatest thing in the world for you and then be the worst thing in the world for somebody else right like, like it could be your favorite thing and it could be my worst enemy right and so and that's what makes it difficult is like everybody's skin is different and everybody's going to have different reactions and 
you know, like I can have really dry skin and you can have really dry skin and they can be totally different in right. totally different ways. Um, like my, I, I do have really, really dry skin, but because of that, my body overproduces oil. And that's a huge complaint that I get with people that's that are like, weird. they'll be like, oh, I have such oily skin. I have such oily skin. And then I'll like put water on their face and it just like sucks it up just like <gasps> right there in the moment, just like soaks it up. And I'm like, the reason your skin is so oily, excuse me, is because you have no moisture to it. You have no, like, either you're yeah. not drinking enough water or you work out a lot and you just sweat a lot. Um, your skin is just so dehydrated that your body is just like, I know, it's just like grabs the big jug water. of water. <laughs> it's just your body is so dehydrated that it's trying to overproduce oil, trying to overproduce sebum to hydrate itself. And so because of that. Weird. Yeah, and that's my skin type. But I think it's more, I feel like Alyssa has more of the dry skin that like it actually feels dry. Like mm-hmm. she can put on a heavy moisturizer and it still looks gorgeous afterwards. Alyssa has the best skin. I, she, I, it is the most annoying thing. I know. Her skin is beautiful. She complains <laughs> constantly about it and it's so pretty. Not constantly. I guess when no, she's like in the room with me. Last she's, time we were there, she had, last time we were here, she mm-hmm. had like a pimple and she was like, oh, I have this it's one the worst. pimple. Yeah. I know. Both of you that way though. Y'all, y'all are like, all right, I have one pimple. And I'm like, hmm. I get gross up. pimples though. <laughs> also gets like time. My pimples get like kind of gross. Yeah. Like, but even though I just have one, it's like, ew. And mm-hmm. it takes forever to go away. And then I pop it and then I, it's. Benzoyl I, peroxide. It'll what's be that? your best friend. Benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. They are, you will see them all over drugstores um, and really anywhere. They're my two favorites to use because they are drugstore because you can find them everywhere. Um, benzoyl peroxide will help to kill an infection that is happening because that's what I pimples are. are. I'm sure that they do. Um, yeah. But yeah, salicylic acid. So benzoyl peroxide is pretty much what's going to kill it. Salicylic acid is something that will help prevent it. So it's something that will be really good to use like on your nose for blackheads or yeah. after the pimple is gone, put that salicylic acid on top of there to salicylic keep it gone. Salicylic acid. I've had to get kind of good at saying these. <laughs> salicylic acid. Salicylic acid, lactic, glycolic. Yeah. Yeah. I have some of those I think here. Mm-hmm. You have a lot of lactic and glycolic. Okay. So next, the your favorite <coughs> is this Salu mm-hmm. Firm Drops by Mario Bascow. The names it, that he comes up with. I know. It was, I mean, apparently this is for aging too. Mm-hmm. For like, um, let's see. It's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, it's it, cute. They have, a, yeah, if you go to Ulta, they're like really mm-hmm. big fans of this brand. But the, you'll see like a dry skin section. You'll see like an anti aging section. You'll see a whatever section. Mm-hmm. I think that was in the anti aging one. Okay. So something I'm going to say, not about this product, because this one, it's like the very top ingredient. When you go to buy skin products, Look at the back at the ingredients. This one's a horrible example because they're so teeny. If water isn't within the first three ingredients, do not buy it. Really? Because not necessarily saying that all products are this way. It's just kind of like a better safe than sorry scenario in my mind of if it's one of its top ingredients isn't water, then there's probably going to be a lot of crap in there that you don't know what it is and Mm -hmm. nobody really knows what it is. Um, So, yeah, just to just to. Play it more on the safe side with your skin if it's not in the first three ingredients. Or let's say the first five will give them some, you know, wiggle some room. <laughs> yeah, some wiggle room. Uh, yeah, if it's not in the first five ingredients, pass. Find something else. There's, really? Yeah, I used to be really bad about I would just pick up Let a bottle see. because it was pretty. Yeah, that one's the very first one. Oh, that's good. I oh, would just good, grab good, things because I was okay. like, oh, this is a cute bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I would go home and just use it. And my skin would just be on fire for like a week. Oh, no. And then, yeah, uh, once I was an adult, went to school, I was like, oh, well, maybe that's why. <laughs> I was just putting, you know, pounds and pounds of unhealthy things <laughs> on my skin. <laughs> yeah, this one says designed to support skin elast- elasticity. Elasticity. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't, yeah, I don't really sell, oh, sell you firm. Did I say oh, that wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. Sell you, I mean, well, maybe kind you of, did. I don't yeah. remember. Um, sell you firm. I mean, I assume that's just saying it's going to help to tighten up any type of skin cells. Yeah. Like cellulite you can think of. Oh, um, I should put it like. Here, yeah. Here. So <laughs> I always say with your skin products, obviously put all over your face, but put on your neck too. Your yeah. neck and your decollete, your chest, whatever you want to call it. People, um, people get they don't realize that you need to put skincare on mm-hmm. i'm really bad about not putting my skincare on my neck and i can already tell that i have like these little lines coming in because yeah. i have a bad habit of like giving myself double chins all day long i think we all do yeah <laughs> okay so next mm-hmm. this is another and i'm almost done with night time guys this is, this is all this night time little, 
this is you can overdo it. I don't That's use this concerning. all the time. Mm-hmm. I don't use this all the time. I can see that being so a firming I'll, agent. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that nice. right there. And then, okay, so I do use this every night, though. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the CeraVe retinol mm-hmm. serum. Retinol. Mm-hmm. Oh, everyone's best friend, retinol. I know. I like. Okay, so this little ingredient that's on here, it's the... It's for water. Ni- ni- I can't even pronounce half of these, but it's niacinamide, niacinamide or whatever too. it is. That stuff, that is in my... So I started using Curology for my skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Curology, sponsor us. Send me free things. Yeah. Um, I started using them, and it's amazing. You go online, you take a little... We're not sponsored. Yeah. Um, (laughs) You go online, you take a little quiz, you kind of tell them everything that's going on with your skin, and then if they still have further questions, they'll have a dermatologist reach out to you, figure it out, and then they'll send you, like, a personalized um, medicated cream every month. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I've been using, and it made a huge difference. Like, it fixed my skin. skin. Like, my breakouts are just, like, gone. Like, I have, like, little ones. Yeah. Because life is really stressful right now. Yeah. But, yeah, it just, it changed the game. Um, but back to this little CeraVe guy. Once again, it's a product line that I'm really excited to use. Yeah, Just you looking at the it. ingredients yeah. on here, retinol is really wonderful for uh, aging skin. You just want to be sure that you're not overdoing it on retinol. Because yeah. uh, it's one of those that can go real quickly from being, like, a wonderful product to your worst enemy. I just do it, use it at night. Yeah, and that's great. I, I used to have people that are like, I put it on in the morning and in the afternoon and like around lunchtime and then I put it on at nighttime and I'm like, you're overdoing it. It's yeah. just, one, it's going to stop working at some point and two, you're just, you're going to like, it's going to make your skin so thin that it's just going to yeah, hurt. Gonna, yeah. And like look old. you can't put anything on it. Um, but yeah, this one. I can't see anything to complain about. Yay. So. Okay. I'm almost done. <laughs> so occasionally, oops, if I have, mm-hmm. um, what's it called? Well, first, before I b- put that, mm-hmm. then I'll do, um, I, I just have always really liked this Kiehl's mm-hmm. Ultra Facial Cream. This is my moisturizer that yeah. I use. Um, but I'll put that on and then I'll jade roll everything in. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I keep my jade roller in my freezer and <gasps> it's. Oh, it's kind of it kind of hurts at first because it's yeah, so cold really but it's, cold yeah oh it's so nice yeah um moisturizers honestly if you're just using like a plain just like a normal that's what that is yeah moisturizer, it's really hard to go wrong with I it like heels um you just got to be careful with moisturizers that like on the package it's like like i've seen some that claim that it has glycolic acid lactic acid hyaluronic like it says that it just has like everything it's like this acid is, oh. uh, yeah so yeah. acid is a really scary word i think for yeah. people when it comes to skincare it it's in everything so it, like lactic and glycolic acids it won't say like on the bottle like acid it'll just say like it has like lactic and glycolic aids or something like oh, that uh-huh. um they're exfoliants <laughs> they help yeah. to exfoliate your skin to help to kind of and I'm pretty sure that's not that. Is Mm-mm. that? Okay. No, yeah. this one's just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is just like a really good regular everyday moisturizer. And so, yeah. I like things. it a lot. I, love I was like, Kiehl's. I remember whenever you got this one, you were super excited about it. And yeah. yeah. I like Kiehl's. Um, yeah. Moisturizers are, I feel like, hard to screw up. Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, I'll put this glycolic eye cream on by Mario Besca. I actually, mm-hmm. I used See, to that's have, what I mean, they don't put glycolic acid. They'll just put like, yeah, glycolic eye cream. I re honestly, mm-hmm. I just switched to that and I really like it. Yeah. I was actually impressed. Mm. I know. I'm sorry. I'm always yeah. like trying to read these tiny little. Yeah, no, that's good that you do. Mm-hmm. So this is my nighttime guys. Like this I don't insane. <laughs> Lauren. I don't really, I mean, it's just real quick. Like mm-hmm. it, it's not really that like insane. I, I know we just yeah. kind of go through all of that really quickly or really, it took a long time, but mm-hmm. th- I just do that like really, really quick. And then, um, like I said, I will. And, um, uh, if I do have a pimple, I'll put this Mario Bascal drying lotion and, I was like actually surprised this about stuff this. stuff is <laughs> okay. I know I gave Mario a hard time earlier. Um, <laughs> this stuff was sent to us by Jesus himself. No, um, for real, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. You have a breakout and you put it on there, and like literally the next day, it's, it's just gone. Like, poof, gone. It's magic. Um, I don't necessarily understand how it works or what this guy does to make it work, but maybe he has a deal going on with Jesus. But <laughs> or the devil. Or someone else. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, this stuff is everything 
I've ever wanted. Yeah, no, I, it's awesome. I wouldn't necessarily use this as like an everyday preventative mm-hmm. for acne. It's more, I feel like this is one that I would save for like, if you have something coming up and like, say you have a wedding going on the next day or you have some pictures that you want to take or you just fe- want to feel pretty the next day. Um, I would save it for that. But it, like with any product anywhere, whether it's your skincare, your hair care, body lotion, or not necessarily body lotions, but skin and hair care, your body gets used to things. Right. And so you can have all the millions of products in the world. And if you use them for a long time, like at first they might work wonders and, you know, you're, you're, they're your favorite thing. But at some point you're going to have to change it. Right. Because it's just your body gets used to it. And then eventually it's like, well, I can fight through that. Like with breakouts, it's like, Ugh, oh, well, that's not going to work on me anymore. Like I'm stronger than that. So, but yeah, I mean, I feel like. Body. Freak out. I feel like there's a, there's a little much here. I know. Um, <laughs> but I, like I said, I don't like, I, I won't do this every night mm-hmm. and then I'll switch between those two. And then I just, I use these both morning and night just cause I feel. Yeah. Extra. I feel like if anything, just whenever it comes to your serums, like, cause you want, you want to cleanse and tone every yeah. day. Um, and then whenever it comes to like your serums, whether they're preventative or their treatments, whatever they or may they be. smell good. Or <laughs> maybe not if they smell good, you should probably have more more uh, <laughs> need for it than that yeah. um like right now like you have these three serums here like you have yeah. your grape seed your vitamin c and then your retinol i would probably do retinol like every other okay. and then alternate between these two guys between the okay. grape seed and the vitamin c just to m- prolong them, them working yeah it kind of keeps your skin on its toes a little bit longer before it's like hey stop using that crap i'm gonna do something else yeah. like i'm bored i like that mm-hmm. Ooh, i just i've I've been looking at this one and put it on my face. <laughs> I freaking, if you guys don't have a jade roller, mm-hmm. what are you even doing with your life? They're so I know nice. I just have, I have makeup on and I just got it all gross, but like, it's, okay. it's literally it's like. It's your jade roller. You can do what uh, you want. I freaking love a jade roller. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, I mean, I, I don't know if you know, this is just um, castor oil that I'll put, uh, that I got on Amazon mm-hmm. that I'll take Do you it. feel like castor oil actually works? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I no, and I, I mean obviously it's new, so yeah. I just like started work using it. Yeah, but I, don't I mean know. that was I mean it's an honest question. I I I had a wonderful client. She was so incredibly sweet. I was talking to her one day about how I hate the fact that my brows and my lashes just don't grow anymore. Um, and so she was Me like, too. you know what? She's like, I have some really great castor oil. I'll bring you a little sample of it, and and I still have it. It's in my drawer, and I definitely don't use it as often as I told her I would. Um. But yeah, yeah I mean, hard. I just, I, I want it to work. I, I just, want it to work too. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, let me know if this actually works for you. Yeah. I'll put it on at night. I mm-hmm. won't really do it in the morning, but. I mean, it is very oily based. So yeah. I would always suggest doing it at night. Because then you don't want to get styes too. Mm-hmm. Like that's another thing. Okay. So let's get to the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, the morning, I actually don't wash my face in the morning. Mm-hmm. I'll just put water on it. And no, then, no. Okay. No. Cleanse it. <laughs> I'll just like, wa- I'll just like do like a quick, just like, yeah. So I should wash my face in yes. the morning. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so that is a really big common mistake. Oh no. Um, it's not just you. I've told this to almost every <laughs> single one of my clients. I love when clients tell me like, okay, I cleanse at night and I cleanse in the morning. I'm like, oh, I love you. Oh, Thank man. you. <laughs> um, yeah. Lauren's not one of those. Dang it. <laughs> so the reason we say that is obviously you're going to cleanse your skin at night because you've just had a full day of right. sweating and bacteria, dirt, makeup, whatever it may be that your skin is coming across. You're trying to wash that all off. And then a lot of people, yeah, they just go to bed. And so whenever you wake up in the morning, you're like, well, why am I going to wash my face? I didn't, I didn't sweat. I didn't do anything. Right. Our pillowcases, you have to think about it. You're, you're laying your nasty. hair on your pillowcase and like whether you wash your hair at night or in the morning, whatever it may be, there's still some sort of particles and stuff in your hair that is getting into your pillowcase oh. and then you're sleeping on that. And that maybe not, maybe that's not the case for everybody. Maybe someone's like literally the cleanest person in the world. Um, but still, it's just even at night, your body is still producing oil. It's still producing bacteria, stuff that's still lying right. on your skin. <laughs> um, yeah. And so it's always, I mean... So I, I have a, a salicylic acid cleanser um, that I use at nighttime. And then mm-hmm. I have a really gentle, very creamy, almost kind of how this CeraVe hydrating cleanser is. Uh, I use that in the morning because it is so gentle because you yeah. don't need anything like crazy. You're not trying to scrub the crap out of your face first right. thing in the morning. But just something to kind of get that first layer of whatever was produced overnight, uh. just getting that off. So, yeah. 
That's gross. Okay, so, well, yeah. so everyone, <laughs> please start washing your face in the morning. And for men, just leave it in the shower. Just get a cleanser. Put it in the shower with a pump. It's the easiest thing in the world. That's what I got, Trent. Right, mm-hmm. babe? I got you. What's a Seraphil? Seraphil. Seraphil. They just put. Seraphil's okay. It can be really drying though. Oh no. Um, so just combat that with a moisturizer. But I know, I know. He guys, has dry skin. Yeah. So I should not. I have would that. say, I would say, try using this for him as well. Okay. This hydrating cleanser. I feel like that would be great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Trent, mm-hmm. stop using the other cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to stop yeah. using it. I just, and it's not the case on everyone's skin. Yeah. I just, I, I How personally have run into people that. It dries out their skin. How is it on you, babe? Or have you ever tried it? Uh, He's like, there's a cleanser, there's a cleanser in it the shower? It dries out my skin. Oh, yeah. man. Okay, my bad. <laughs> so, I mean, if you have the product, it's not, I mean, it's not like the worst thing in the world. But buy him one of those. Um, yeah. And I mean, if you don't want to just like, you're like, well, I just bought that. I don't want to waste it. Just get a, get, Anybody get want a good it? moisturizer, right? Get yeah. a good moisturizer to combat the dryness. Just, okay. you know, meet them in the middle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. yeah. M- yeah. <laughs> you good? I'm going to break things. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I swear the morning is a lot less intense. I want to go over the morning and then I have um, three masks that okay. I kind of want. They're all like really different. Okay. Um, but after I uh, like clean my face kind mm-hmm. of, um, I again got influenced and mm-hmm. this is the ordinary and I'll put this on first. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, and then I'll do obviously... Um, the grapeseed oil and mm. this skin eternal as well. That's a lot of serums in the morning, Lauren. Okay, <laughs> I won't do it. It's fine. But I it's would like I don't put makeup on, so I feel yeah. maybe that's f- I'm I'm missing that. That I'm like I miss putting. Yeah, like on I need my more face. things on my face, yeah. and sometimes less is better. Yeah. Um. But once again, like I said, if you're gonna start alternating these two night ones, this vitamin C and this grapeseed. Yeah. Um. I mean, you could do it to where whichever one you didn't do that night, you can oh. use it in the morning. Okay. I just. I would say no more than two just okay. because serums once again, it could totally just be a personal preference for me. Um, I do have so much stuff. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> I don't know, but this one has that, that thing in it again that I can't yeah. pronounce the nice cinnamide. <laughs> yeah. Um, which I love. It's so clearing. I believe if I am not mistaken, that is the one that's supposed to help evening out your skin tone. Yeah. Um, I feel like since I started using that mm-hmm. and the face wash, I felt like my skin looks a lot better. Yeah. No, I... And the ordinary... The lady was trying to talk me out of that. Really? Yeah. Because she obviously probably didn't sell What that. was she... Yeah. I was like, she... She's mm-hmm. trying to sell me something else. Like the ordinary, I've heard wonderful things about this line. This is another one of those lines that I really, really want to use. Yeah. I just... The thing about me is I have so much damn product. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Look at me too. <laughs> literally in in my drawer, I so I always have like I have like little drawer baskets, and I yeah. have a basket full of Aveda, a basket full of Circadia, a basket full of Vivier, um, a basket full of Arbonne, like so much yeah. stuff. And so I'm like, I haven't purchased skincare product in such a long time. That's a good problem. To I have mean, it's though, nice, but yeah. it, but I'm also like, I really want to try all these new things. But I just can't justify it because I have nowhere to put it right now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the ordinary I would say is like a really wonderful line. It's a good, clean line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What so you got? Okay. So next, I'll put. You'll be proud of me. Mm-hmm. It's a um, moisturizing lotion, like a uh, just a whatever, but yeah. with sunscreen in it. Oh yay! <laughs> Use sunscreen, Props folks. for sunscreen. Yeah. So, yes, if you are looking for anti-aging, you have to use a sunscreen. You could throw away everything. Okay, don't actually do that. But throw if it away. there's <laughs> anything that you're just like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on all the serums and all the... Because retinols and retin they're expensive. They're real yeah. expensive. Um, but, yeah, if you're still trying to, like, fight against aging, you have to use a sunscreen. Like, it could be the cloudiest day in the world and... The sun is still peeking through and it can damage your skin so easily. So even if like I have a great tinted moisturizer by Arbonne um, that it's the moisturizer, it's tinted. So it kind of gets away some of my redness, but it has an SPF uh, 20 in it. And so doesn't Aveda have the SPF in it, too, or no? I believe so. Yes. Yes. I haven't used that one in a little bit, Um, but that was also a really good one. So, yeah, just anything that has SPF, I would say no less than an SPF 15. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I, I've seen a lot of girls that wear a lot of makeup. They'll just use SPF 15 because it's a lot lighter. And that's I think that's fine. Yeah, um, that one's 30. But yeah, an SPF 30 is like, 
goals. <laughs> they, it can be a little bit on the heavier side, yeah. but but I don't wear makeup. All yeah, day. I was like, but you have <laughs> to use an SPF. It's such a it's such an important part of anyone's skincare. Yeah. So I'm okay. proud of you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so this is I don't normally put these on. I'll occasionally put these on mm-hmm. after that. Is either this Glossier Future Dew mm-hmm. or this CeraVe Skin Renewing Serum. I mean, the, I'm telling you, y'all, the other day Alyssa was like, you really went in the CeraVe, didn't you? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll go back and forth between these two. And I don't know if Glossier really is. I mean, they're, I just, they're big on their makeup, right? Yeah. I just like the way it looks. I, honestly. you really are like the influencer. I of, got influenced. <laughs> you really got influenced. <laughs> I did. So this is interesting that it's a vitamin C serum that's like, is it a cream? No, it's a serum. It, it feels like that. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. That's. Oh, wait, that. wait. That's not how it works. Oh, what happened? What did, oh, was I supposed to pop it off? No, it. it um. <laughs> My hands are sweaty. Wait, it's your full. There you go. Oh, okay. I yeah. just don't know what I'm doing. Okay, that's yeah. I like that. I thought it was gonna be like an oil. I I feel like all vitamin C's I've worked with are an oil, Oily. and this one's a little bit more serum. Uh, yeah, I guess it is a little more serum-y. I guess to me, I think like when I think serum, I think oil. Yeah. Um, but no, that's that's really nice. Let me right? see. Mm-hmm. Once again, just have to smell everything. A skin renewing vitamin C serum, ten percent pure vitamin C. Well, what's the other ninety percent, Lauren? Uh oh. <laughs> It's cheap though. Yeah. I mean, it's, again, it's a drugstore. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like vitamin C, like drugstore vitamin C's are so hit and miss mm-hmm. because so ascorbic acid, I, y'all may have heard me say that earlier. Ascorbic acid is the purest form of vitamin C. So if you're looking for a really good vitamin C that really you just want it to brighten your skin, because that's yeah. what that's supposed to be doing. Um, normally you got to drop some cash on it. So Though this might work, it just might take a bit longer than Cause like ten percent because it's ten percent <laughs> instead of a uh, hundred. Not necessarily a hundred. Like the ones that I I worked with were anywhere from like twenty to thirty five percent. Because you know there's going to be other things in there. Because if you put a hundred percent ascorbic acid on your skin, that's going to burn like hell. Oh no! Yeah, because that's <laughs> it's going to be strong. Yeah. Um. And so yeah, I mean ten percent isn't bad. It just might take a little bit longer for it to for you to actually see some changes in your skin and then i don't even know what that is i don't know even know what <laughs> it's it just, cute I it's like, really pretty i like the way <laughs> this is it, the glossier future do yeah it like really makes your skin i i'll like wear it as a primer mm-hmm. sometimes and maybe that's what it's meant for i know glossier yeah. they have really great like natural um makeup yeah i haven't really used their makeup or anything yet just because i know that it is a lot lighter and with my skin, if I'm going to wear makeup, I need a little bit more coverage. That's what I'm wearing right now. I'm mm-hmm. wearing their tinted moisturizer uh, concealer. Mm-hmm. I'm actually wearing the Rare Beauty, uh, this stuff, mm-hmm. whatever. The highlight? No, no, no. Or the pink. What's it called? Blush. Oh, blush. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, you do have a nice little glow going. I know. I think it's because I put that on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, this stuff, it doesn't really give me a ton to go off <laughs> of. <laughs> I mean, I, a lot I of these like products, it. That the, like, if it comes in a box, normally the ingredients will be, okay. Yeah. Normally the ingredients will be on the box, not on the bottle, because they're just trying to make the bottles look pretty. I think you'll like the way it feels. I'm, I'm almost I'm out of it, so maybe okay. it's... Here's a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, Alex, it's pink. I know. Doesn't that feel good? That is nice. Oh, that gives, like, a really pretty shine and yeah. very shimmery. Yeah, I feel like this is probably something that is good for underneath your makeup. Two pumps all over your face as last step of your skin routine. Yep. So right before your makeup. <laughs> yeah. Add more to the high Perfect. points of your face for an extra glow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. So that is my skincare routine. I don't know <sighs> if you want to go over the masks. I just have three. That's fine. And we don't have to go I over don't know. them because that's extra, extra yeah. stuff. Okay. So this is the last. So I, mm-hmm. obviously I don't do these every day. Yeah. Um, good. Yeah, and these are just three, literally just three different types of masks that mm-hmm. I use. Um, we'll start with the ordinary and then we'll end with this one that, cause I know you've used that before. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, okay. So this one I did patch test and mm-hmm. it did start to burn closer mm-hmm. to 10 minutes. So I only use it for seven minutes Okay. and it says to use it for 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, it literally looks like blood yeah, <laughs> on your face. I like, I've seen, I've seen videos and yeah, just all sorts of stuff with this one. Okay. So yeah. So this is an AHA, AHA and a BHA. Um, yeah, so this is like a full on like chemical peel. 
Ooh. So, and that's probably why it starts to sting and burn after yeah. 10 minutes. I get, um, I'm, I literally have PTSD after that photo. Yeah. That's why I mean, I'm like, I, could, I would imagine. Yeah. So yeah, this is one, I mean, I've, another one that I've seen really wonderful results. I actually had a client that she used this once a month. So she would come in and she would get a peel with me. Um, we did a lactic acid peel, which is really great for brightening and firming your skin. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she said that like a week later, she would go home and do this ordinary AHA, BHA peeling solution. And I mean, her skin was beautiful. Like she, she was one of those that she would come in and be like, okay, I'm ready for my facial. And I would just be like, I don't know what I'm going to do on you. Like <laughs> your skin is gonna beautiful. Literally. Skin, I would just be like, yeah. uh, and she'd be like, can I get extractions? I'm like, there's nothing to extract. Yeah. Like your skin <laughs> is so pretty. But I mean, yeah, she was doing something right, obviously. Yeah. So yeah, I really like this one. Um, another one that I'm really excited to use cause it's yeah. cheap. Y'all the ordinary stuff, it's new. Mm-hmm. Um, they're like, they're at Ulta. Actually, I noticed they're not at all Ulta's. They're at like select really? Ulta's cause I went to the Ulta right here by bed, bed, bath and beyond. Mm-hmm. And it was there. That's where the lady tried to talk me out of it. And then I went to the one up 281 by, yeah. um, Alma draft house and they weren't there. And I was like, where is the ordinary I, stuff? I hate going to Ulta sometimes because yeah, yeah. like <laughs> if you, if my biggest like pointer, I guess like if you're going into Ulta to get skincare routine s- or skincare products, um, do some research before you go, right. find out what it is that you want. Like whether you see it on TikTok and like we make jokes like, Oh, I saw this yeah. on TikTok. But a lot of them, I mean, the reason that they've gone viral is because they're working right. and it actually is some sort of benefit to it. And so if you see something on TikTok or on Instagram, wherever it is, do your own research, mm-hmm. go look at reviews um, and decide before you go into Ulta if it's something that you really want to try. And I say that because I have made the mistake a million times where I go in to look at it and then I get talked out of it and then yeah. I go buy a product because they, I mean, they are a commissioned mm-hmm. place and like, th- I mean, bless them. They're just doing their job. Mm-hmm. They're just doing what they're told. They got to make money. Right. Um, and so there have been a lot of times where I'm like, I'm going to go in for this. And then I talk to someone, they're like, well, maybe you should try this. I think this will be better for you. And I'm like, oh, and it's okay. two times more expensive. <laughs> yeah. And it's always more expensive and it's just, yeah. it's, and then I always would leave. I don't necessarily do it now. Cause once again, I'm not really buying anything. And now I actually know what to look for. Right. Um, But yeah, there were just so many times that I would leave and I would go home and I would try it and I'd be like, I just would be so unimpressed and just so like, I really wanted that other product. Like, damn, I should have just gotten what I said I was going to get. And I'm not the type of person to return anything. (laughs) So, so yeah, just do your research. Yeah. Just know what you want. Yeah. I liked it. I mean, no, uh, I'm, but again, I really want to try these for like seven minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll build up my immunity up to 10 eventually. (laughs) Um, but this one Mm -hmm. also not, it didn't go, I mean, it might've gone viral on TikTok, but I wasn't on TikTok at the time. It Mm -hmm. like went viral somewhere else, but this is the Indian healing clay. This one's more work. Like you actually have, it's like, it's not a, and I wish somebody would have told me it's a powder. Mm -hmm. It's not a, you have to like make a cleanse, make mm-hmm. a cleanse, make the, make the clay. And I use um, apple cider vinegar when I mix it with mm-hmm. it. And um, it, if I leave it too long again, my skin will start to turn red. But apparently that's like normal what it says on the thing. So have you ever used that? I have. Uh-huh. I hate this stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I think that it's one of those that it blew up on social media. Yeah. I remember it blowing up. Uh-huh. Now it's at H-E-B. Um, yeah. And I, I tried it because I was so excited. And the more I tried it and the more I looked into it, I realized how bad it actually is. Um, <gasps> Going in the trash. Yeah. It's just, it's really, really drying. And so, yeah, and it that's does. the thing with a lot of these, like anything that's for acne is a lot of them will say like drying serum. Because they're trying to dry out the infection. Because that's what acne, that's what pimples are. They're infections in your skin. Um, (laughs) You hate it. I hate it so (laughs) much. Because it does, it dries out the infection, but it dries everything else out. Yeah. And then you really have to work really, really hard to combat it and try to get your nice natural glow and your nice natural like oil production back in line. And so I feel like this is one of those that one like if you're consistently using it, like you use it as often. I think it says what like once a week or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, if you're really using it that way, in the timing that you're using it, you're like, wow, this thing is amazing. My skin looks so nice. The second you stop using it, and I'm sorry to say this to you because I know you have been using it, 
your skin's probably going to freak out because it's oh, trying. No. Cause, I don't use it that often. Okay. Because, yeah, this is one of those that it's rather than treating it, it is just like covering it. Yeah. Cause I'll use it if I start to break out. Yeah. Like that's so, the only time I'll use it. And the thing that really sucks about breakouts is whenever you change your products, whenever you start getting facials or you go see a dermatologist, you nine out of 10 times, you are going to break out. Yeah. That stuff that's in there, that bacteria that, you know, your whiteheads, your blackheads, they got to come out. Like mm-hmm. if you want to treat your skin, Ew. they can't just stay there for forever. Yeah. And that was such an issue that I had for so many years was I'd be like, oh my God, my skin is beautiful. And then I would change my product and then my skin was awful again. I'm like, what the crap? It looked so good like a week ago. And it's because it was just hiding it. It wasn't necessarily fixing it. Yeah. So that's what I think of this guy. Throw it in the trash. Yeah, definitely not <laughs> my favorite. So, so sorry. I don't use it that often. Yeah. But yeah. So sorry to everyone that really likes it. I'm sorry that I just... <laughs> Lastly, Lauren's favorite. Oh. This is the Aveda Intense Hydrating Mask. It's, it's clear. It's so good. It's like a gel. It's literally yeah. like you're putting aloe vera on your skin. Yeah. It feels amazing. It's nice and cold. It I feels like good it. with a jade roller. It feels good with facial massage. Yeah. It is so nice. You can literally put it on your skin and leave it on there. I. It's so relaxing that I'll put it on there and I'll just like forget it's there for like two hours. <laughs> And oh then my I'll go, god <laughs> but i'll take it off because that's the thing about a beta it's yeah. so natural it's yeah. all natural ingredients it's not anything that's going to like burn your skin um the only thing that might is like the plant peel but that's yeah. meant to do that um but this intense hydrating mask this they also have a radiance mask those two mixed together is like a dream oh my god and gosh. so i'm always really excited whenever i see this one anywhere because i'm just like oh my gosh it's my old friend i know we're the best of buddies <laughs> we've gone through the hardest times together but yes 10 out of 10 yay 100 out of 100 the best hydrating mask i have ever used i'm it's glad so we can nice. end on a top i know on a high so, note and no, you're like i hate just this like, one i was like this is the worst <laughs> i'm like abate is the best yeah yay. no abate is a wonderful company it's all natural cruelty free they're the best so. Yay! So, yeah. Well, thank you for reviewing. Yes, <laughs> my oh, insane. My I also I do have one more thing that I do that oh, I God. didn't bring out. It's that red light. I also got that in a fabric. Yeah, fun those are fun. Box. I yeah. do like those. So red LED lights. There's red and blue. Um, if your esthetician ever recommends it, it's probably just because they're trying to heal your skin a little bit after they just like went to town on it. Mm-hmm. Um. Red LED is going to help to soothe the skin. It's going to help to start healing it. It also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Yeah. That's a really good one for I you to have like here. I put them like right here. Yes. I like put it yes. And yes. Just like close my eyes. Just be careful. Yeah. Be sure that you have your eyes closed because once you have it here around your temples, um, you're obviously still going to see the light because mm-hmm. it's like shining into your skull. Yeah. Um, but over time, if you're looking directly, it's the same thing as like a tanning bed or any type of UV ray. Um, it can damage your yeah. eyes a little bit. So just make sure you're being uh, safe and careful with that. What's cool about the one that I got in the Fab Pit Fun mm-hmm. Box, it'll turn off after three and a half minutes. That's good. That's own. really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to, because uh, with hydrofacials, we would use the LED lights. Um, oh, and the blue LED lights help, help to kill infection. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you just do, I would do four minutes on like the left side of the face and then four minutes on the right side of the face. Yeah. It's cool. So, yeah. yeah, that's the only other thing I do. But yeah, this is a lot. I know. It is a lot. I, it was like three trips to like bring mm-hmm. everything oh my gosh. over. She, she brought the first one. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, no, there's more. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. is there anything else that um, you want to add? Like mm. what your favorite products are? Any like tips and tricks that you want our listeners to like yeah. take? Is there anything that you just want them to take away? I... Just take care of your skin. Just, I mean, I know that facials and beauty products and all this stuff, it it is an investment. It's Mm -hmm. one of those things that right now that we're young and, you know, we're young and beautiful and thriving. (laughs) um, It's probably one of those you're like, oh my God, $50 for a cleanser. And I know that sucks, but in the long run, it's an investment and it'll help. Um, think about your future self your future yes, self your right future now self will really love you and thank you. About you the only other tip i have is for anybody that does want really beautiful glowy skin and it does help with um fine lines and wrinkles is use a really light moisturizer during the day so like in the morning cleanse tone moisturize sunscreen uh but at night you can like you can even this little like keels cleanser right here you can pile this sucker on at night I and do. just put it on almost <laughs> as if you are putting it like a mask on and I then do. just sleep with it. Yeah. Because your skin is like your body's still working at night. You know, yeah. your, your heart's still pumping. So things are still moving and working. Um, 
And so, yeah, so if you put on a heavy, clean, or a, I'm sorry, a heavy moisturizer at night, that's just going to help to like seep in and it's not going to, it's just going to kind of um, absorb. I was like, what's the word? <laughs> it's just going to absorb into your skin overnight. And yeah. so that'll just kind of help to prevent your wrinkles a little bit longer. A little bit. about drinking water? Lots of water. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> I'm going to drink some right now. I, for you, I was saying earlier that for years I couldn't figure out how to fix my skin because I was using so many products. After I just started drinking like a normal amount of water because I used to not drink any water. Oh my um, God. <laughs> no, like literally I would have like a glass of water a week. It was so oh no. bad. It was really, really bad. And so just drinking water, you will see like a world's difference in your skin. Yeah. And then you can go in with, the mountains, this nonsense. <laughs> mountains of product. Yay. So, yeah. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here, Lauren. Yeah, I know it's so, so short notice, too. I <laughs> thank you. It's okay. Really this was fun. This yes, was fun. If anyone okay. ever has questions, you could always reach out yeah, to me. Yeah, we'll or... add her Instagram, mm -hmm, like, above mm -hmm. her head. Trent will. Make me famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, any questions or anything, or yeah. if you even want to fact check me and, you know, Give me a lot of hell. Go for <laughs> it. I'm all game. Let's fight. She's also on TikTok. <laughs> she has no content though. She's no just content. one of the creepers. So just like listen to. I anything. refuse to post it. I'm yeah. yeah I'm <laughs> 25 years old and I refuse to maybe, post anything on TikTok. Maybe we'll post something afterwards. Who knows? We'll see. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, Pray again for, for me. being here. Of course, anytime. Yay! Okay, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Messy Bun Sisters. We love you guys. Punch that subscribe we will button. Uh, uh, is the sound? Ah, there. Uh, oh, there it there is. It is. <laughs> hey. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.